and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite products that I've been using in the month of June. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time and I am so sad that June is almost over because I only have another month here in LA before I go back to Minnesota and then back to Nebraska for school. So it's just crazy, crazy. It's been so hectic lately. I'm going to VidCon by the time you're watching this. I will already be at VidCon and I'm going to be there until Saturday and then right from VidCon I go straight to New York City until Tuesday for a shoot. There's a lot of things going on but I like the craziness because it keeps me going, keeps it exciting and everything. I split it up into categories so I'm going to show you my beauty favorites, my fashion favorites, my whatever favorites so that is more organized for you guys so I hope you are excited and let's get into it. Okay so I'm going to start off with my favorite makeup products from the month that I've been using. So the first one is this lipstick by Maybelline and it is in 410 bi bleh, bleh, what, what? Blissful Berry, Blissful Berry. And I actually bought this at Walgreens not too long ago, so I haven't been using it the entire month, but I absolutely love it because I left all of my plum lipsticks for some reason, all my dark lipsticks, I didn't bring any of them on accident to LA with me, so it's like my go-to when I go out, and it's actually what I'm wearing today. And I was so sad, so I went down and I found this one, and I have a bunch of Maybelline lipsticks anyway because I'm partnered with them. So I was like, might as well try this one, and I absolutely adore it. It just is a nice, pretty dark color, but it's not too dark. My next favorite is something that is not new to the YouTube community. I'm sure all of you guys have heard about this product, but I just recently started using it like mm, a couple months ago, and that is the Benefit Hula Bronzer, and it was always hyped up so much on YouTube and I just never tried it because I already had some like MAC bronzers laying around but I decided to try it and I absolutely love it. It's just a nice MAC color. It doesn't make me look too muddy and it's not too orange on my skin. I like that it's matte so it's not like sparkly. And my last makeup favorite is also from Maybelline and this is the Baby Skin. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've mentioned this in multiple videos already but I'm just so obsessed with it. So it's an instant pore eraser. Basically it's supposed to be like a filter on your face, like an Instagram filter, but in real life, so, I mean, who doesn't want that? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I use it as a primer before I apply my face makeup, and I'll just put it on the back of my hand, and then rub it in just the areas where I really want to fill in my lines and my pores, so I definitely focus it on my under eye circles, and it just literally fills in your fine lines. And who doesn't want baby skin? Because baby skin is the best kind of skin. Okay, so next we're going to talk about my jewelry favorites. As you guys know, I love me some jewelry. I have a couple of favorites that I want to share with you guys, and they are from Bobble Bar. I'm sure you guys know why I have been more looking at Bobble Bar recently. It's because I'm rooming with Saramel, who to me just is like the epitome of a Bobble Bar. Like when I think Bobble Bar, I think Sarah style completely. I was looking around and I actually was pleasantly surprised that they had more simple things because I tend to wear more simple things. I feel like it just goes with my wardrobe a lot better than statement necklaces all the time. So I have a couple items picked out and I wanted to share them with you guys. So first I'll show you my favorite bracelets from them and these are what they look like. It's the same style, just different colors, the turquoise and the ivory. Super simple but I feel like they just give a nice extra pop to an outfit. And then I'm wearing these earrings which oh my gosh are my favorite. I'm obsessed with them. When I got them in the mail, Sarah was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute, not even funny. And I was like, I know. I know. So as you can see, it is a double-sided earring. It has a larger cone on the uh, bottom side and then the smaller one on top, which I was never, like, I'd never seen that before. So I thought that was so cool and I was like, how is this going to look? But I'm so, so happy that I got them and they just have really pretty sparkles on them. I just think they're so cute. And then I have a similar style, but instead of the cones, they're circles and they're the clear crystals over the gold. And the last earrings I have are similar to the ones I just showed, but they are all just a rose gold and I think they're so, so pretty and classy, but also kind of edgy at the same time since they're like bigger on the back. I don't know. It's like a mullet earring, you know? It's like business in front, but it's a huge party in the back. And then I have two necklaces. So the first one is this longer, delicate chain. It's like super simple and can go with so many things, but it also has a nice touch of like dazzle with these little rectangles of sparkle. And then I got a very similar one, but it's shorter. So I think they'd be really pretty layered with each other. And it's just a nice gold delicate chain. And then it has this longer band with the 
rhinestones on them. So I'm sure you guys know why I'm obsessed with Bubble Bar. I just love that there's so many styles. They have simple ones like this, and then they also have the statement jewelry. They have monogram necklaces if you're into that and also the acrylic ones you can get like your state and I think that's so cute and I really want to get one so that's like my next purchase but they have styles that start at $10 so it's really affordable. So if you guys are interested in checking out Bobble Bar then be sure to go to bobblebar.com slash Caitlin and then type in Caitlin at your checkout and you will get 20% off. Okay so next on to my fashion favorites of the month so the first one is this kimono from Windsor and it's a really cool printed one. I have literally been wearing it out way too much because I just think it's so comfortable. This is my first kimono that I've ever tried and since then I have gotten two more. If you guys haven't tried kimonos yet, oh my gosh, get on it. They're the most comfortable thing ever. And my last fashion favorite are these printed shorts from Urban Outfitters. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're so freaking comfortable. You guys probably know that most of my wardrobe consists of black or white, or in this case, both. So if you guys are looking for like really comfortable pajama pants but that are acceptable to wear on public, then these are definitely the way to go. On to my random favorites, I only have one this month and this is a journal that I picked up at Anthropology. I'm obsessed with their stationaries and their home stuff. It just makes me so happy. So I got this one. They had other colors but I love the papaya color and it actually has this pocket where I could put a pen in so that's really nice and handy to travel with. If you guys watch my videos a lot then you know I'm kind of obsessed with stationery so I don't really need any more journals, but you know, I'm forever gonna keep buying them. But I really wanted this one because it had blank pages as opposed to lined pages, which a lot of my other ones are. So that's why I picked this up so I could doodle in it and draw all the time and write like my inspirations. And I've actually been writing my video ideas. Okay, so my last category of favorites are apps, and I have two of them that I want to share with you guys. The first one is one that I've actually been using since about January 2013. And I discovered it when I was in New York City for IMAPS and ever since then I have been addicted to using it. Anytime I'm in a bigger city, I can use it back home in Minnesota and I've just been especially using it a lot since I've been in LA. So that's why it's a favorite this month and that is the Uber app and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with that. But it's basically like a personal driver at your fingertips. So if you're going somewhere and you don't have a ride or you just don't want to drive to that place then I definitely suggest you get the Uber app because you just drop a pin wherever you are at that moment and it tells you how long someone's going to be there. There's a ton of Uber drivers around at any given time, so the longest it takes is like three minutes max. You hop in the car and then they'll take you wherever you want to go and it actually just goes off of your credit card that you put in when you first get the app so you don't ever have to whip out cash and you don't have to give them a tip or anything. So it's really convenient. And if you guys want to try it and you haven't yet, then you can use the coupon code CaitlinB. I'll link it down below. I'm not sponsored by Uber or anything, but you guys can do the exact same thing. Once you get an Uber, you can give $30 and then you also get $30 back, which is a lot of money because I went to the airport the other day, which was a 45 minute drive, and it was only about $32. So that's a really good deal. And my last app favorite is Closet Remix. And I don't know if you guys have heard of it because I actually just recently discovered it and it's so freaking awesome and convenient. So basically what it is, is it's an app where it allows you to upload pictures of your closet and you can categorize them by tops, shirts, pants, belts, ties, everything like very specific. And it's a really nice way that you can have a personal stylist at your fingertips. If you guys are looking for like, I don't know how to style this and I'm going to, you know, dinner with my friends, then people who are on the Closet Remix app can help you like remix your wardrobe and be like, oh, you should pair this with this and this. You don't have to buy anything. It's just using what you have in your wardrobe, but it's other people's opinions and ideas, which I think is really cool because sometimes if your friends aren't around, you're like, how do I pair this? Like, I have no idea what to wear with this new article of clothing that I got and it's just really nice to have other people's feedback and I haven't done this yet but I really want to because I think it's a good idea whenever I'm going shopping and I find like a new article of clothing that I think is kind of different I'm like oh, I don't know what to pair with this in my wardrobe and I'm like thinking like sitting there wasting precious shopping time thinking about what I have in my wardrobe that could go with this or if I need to buy like a completely new outfit so I think it'd be really nice to just have this on hand at all times and be like oh like that top would actually look really good with these shorts that I have and then you just know at all times what stuff you have and this is what the app looks like by the way you have your feed your closet your outfits people so you can look at other people's and then you have your own little 
a dashboard. But I actually have a little contest that I'm starting with this app. So what I did is I went ahead and uploaded items from my closet that I want to wear for 4th of July or items that I could potentially wear for 4th of July. I have kind of a lot of options and that's why I want your guys' help because I think this would be a really fun idea to do a giveaway. So basically, uh, this is my closet on here, um, just not my entire closet, but just the items that I think are potentials for 4th of July attire. And what I want you guys to do is go follow me on the Closet Remix app and then remix my wardrobe. Basically put the pieces together that you think I should wear for 4th of July and the winner will get an Instagram post by me on 4th of July with whatever outfit that I chose to wear. So you'll get an Instagram shout out by me and the winner will also win a gift card. So I think this is just really fun. I've done this in the past with my Generation Beauty attire and I thought it was just so fun to kind of like interact with you guys like that and see all of the outfits that you guys picked for me in that last video. So I think this would be really fun. So if you guys are interested, I would absolutely love if you want to participate. It's super easy to enter and everything and I will list all the rules down below. Uh, yeah, those are all of my favorites for the month of June. If you guys want me to do more favorites videos, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because I don't do them every month, but I definitely will if it's something that you guys want to see. Bear with me for the next week or so and then you'll start to be seeing a lot better videos from me. But I hope you guys are having an amazing summer and I'll talk to you guys soon.